Hi, welcome back to Kindergarten Boot Camp. Let's start off today with our flag salute. I'm sure you're getting very good at this now. We're gonna have our flag. Stand up nice and tall. Put your right hand over your heart and say the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Put our flag back. I don't know if you saw or are interested in seeing what's holding up my flag. I have a tin can and it's full of popcorn. But it makes a very good flag holder. All right. Okay, today we are going to be talking about the days of the week and some of the things that you might be doing on different days of the week in kindergarten. But first, let's do our circle time board. Okay, got this. All right, we're gonna take Thursday down and put Friday up. And it's no longer the 12th of August, so we're going to put the two down and pick up the three and we know that one and three, when they're right together like that, means 13. But it's still the month of August. And today, unfortunately, well, I'm going to go partly cloudy. It's a very hot, humid day outside. Well, and they're predicting rain, but let's just hope that it doesn't come. And it's still summer. All right, so Friday, the 13th of August, on a partly cloudy day in summer. Put that board back. There are seven days in each week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And we, when we talk about the school week, we're talking about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And the weekend days are Saturday and Sunday. And when you are in kindergarten, there's some things that you're going to do every day, like the flag salute and usually some sort of circle time or class together activities. And you're going to do um, your reading and spelling and math and science pretty much every day. But then there are what they call specials, which is art and music and gym class. And each school does that a little bit differently but those are things to look forward to that happen maybe once or maybe twice a week. All right, we are going to open the folder to find, look, there's the shape robot from the other day. Our mixed up days of the week. So these are all out of order and all different colors, but all out of order. And what we're going to do today as practice is to cut them out. So we have some scissor practice and then glue them down in the correct order. And I have this laid out the way you usually see them on a calendar with Sunday being the first day of the week, even though Monday is the first day of the school week, unless there's a holiday. We're going to get out our scissors. And cut out 
the days of the week. Once you have all of the days of the week, the scrambled, colorful days of the week, you're going to take your glue stick and glue them down in the proper order so you have a little review of Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right, do you have a glue stick handy? All right, I have my frog, frog-headed glue stick. And I'm gonna take each slip and decide where it goes on the poster. That's for Saturday. I'll do Wednesday is the next one that I had cut out, so I'll put that on the Wednesday place. Monday goes right there. Thursday. Friday. Tuesday, and Sunday. Then I better put the glue cap back on my glue so it doesn't dry out. Because I'm going to need that again, I'm sure. And then here is how the finished poster look looks. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And our school days are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And our weekend days are Saturday and Sunday. And a lot of schools have a five day, instead of calling every day, mo Monday through Friday, they'll call it day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. And that's because a lot of holidays fall on a Monday and you won't go to school on a holiday. And that way the special things that would happen on a Monday don't get left out. All right, okay, we're gonna continue with scissor practice. So in your folder, if you picked one up at northlandlibrary.org, and you still can, even if you're watching this after the week of kindergarten boot camp, you will find this snake. And what you're gonna do is get your crayons out and color the snake any way you like. And then take your scissors and cut, cut him up. All right, so here we go. Let's get our crayons out. And do a little bit of coloring.
Okay, and now we're gonna take our scissors and cut that snake out. Let's see. So now I have a sneaky spiral, which was some coloring practice and some scissor practice. And now we have a very entertaining woo, snake. All right, let's coil our snake back up. Put that aside. And I have one more worksheet I want to show you. And this is something you probably need to know before you start kindergarten. And it's just good to know. You know your name, first and last name, your personal name, and then your family name. It's good to know your address so you know where you live, where your house is. Your phone number, which is probably going to be your mother or your father's cell phone number or the phone number at your house. And last but not least, your parents' name. And I know when I was little, when I was very little, when I was in preschool, I thought my parents' name was mom or dad. But that's really a job title. But it's good to know your parents' name. Teachers and school administrators need to know that in case they need to get in touch with your parents. So, what you're going to do on this sheet is to write down your first and last name, your personal name and your family name, your address, a phone number, and your parents' name, first and last. And then, when you're all done with that, We've got a big, beautiful blank place where you can draw a picture of your family and pets or toys or whatever you'd like that makes it look like you. All right? All right. So that's going to be good practice for you because you will need to know those things when you go to school. I hope you've enjoyed Kindergarten Boot Camp. You know everything you need to know to start kindergarten. You know your letters, you know your numbers, you know the days of the week, colors and shapes, and how to be a good classroom citizen. And just as a reminder, to be a good classroom citizen, you're going to use your inside voice, walk in the hallway, raise your hand instead of speaking out, take turns, be kind and thoughtful of others. Cough and sneeze, hit you <coughs> into your elbow. 
keep your desk tidy. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes and making mistakes is part of learning. What's important is what you do after you make a mistake and that is to try again and again until you get it right. Don't be afraid to ask questions. If you don't understand something, ask. If you missed hearing something, ask the teacher to repeat it. Asking questions is how we learn. And if you would like to come to the library and pick up a certificate that proves to you and to others that you have completed kindergarten boot camp, just ask for this at the Children and Teen Services desk. We also have all sorts of book lists of fun books to read, but two that are specific to somebody going off to kindergarten are English Lit 101, which is a list of uh, fairy tales and stories that everyone should know, and also classic picture books that we think everyone should know. All right. Have a wonderful time in kindergarten. I know you will do well and learn lots. Bye-bye.